Senator from Mississippi. Mr. President, I was saddened to learn that an American member of the OSCE Special Monitoring Mission to Ukraine was killed this past weekend by landmine. Joseph Stone was carrying out his duties in territory controlled by Russian-backed separatists. Two other members of the team, one from the Czech Republic and another from Germany, were injured. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe uh, controls these monitoring teams. They are comprised of unarmed civilians. The mission has been in the region since 2014 when, unfortunately, Russian-backed troops invaded Crimea. Had Russia lived up to the Minsk agreements and ceased supporting, directing, funding, and fueling separatists in this region, there would have been no need for the mission to continue. Sadly, that is not the case. This particular special monitoring mission currently fields roughly 700 monitors, with 600 of them in Donetsk and Luhansk. Those who are part of this mission are unarmed civilians. They serve as the eyes and ears for the world in a, con in a conflict zone. They report on the near constant violations of the ceasefire, as well as reporting on humanitarian needs of the population. They play an essential role in the understanding of the situation on the ground, often under extremely difficult circumstances, and certainly as we see with Joseph Stone, dangerous circumstances. As a member of the Armed Services Committee, I often hear from our top military leaders about the importance of OSCE and the work being done by the special monitoring missions. In late March, for example, during a hearing of the Armed Services Committee, General Curtis M. Scaparotti, commander of the U.S. European Command and Supreme Allied Commander Europe, called attention to the good work of OSCE in the region and the work of the monitoring missions. He confirmed in his testimony that Russia is directing combined Russian separatist forces to target civilian infrastructure and threaten and intimidate OSCE monitors in order to turn up the pressure on Ukraine. He said Russian-led separatist forces continue to commit the majority of ceasefire violations despite attempts by the OSCE to broker a lasting ceasefire along the line of contact. The tragic death of American Joseph Stone underscores the need for the OSCE monitors to have unfettered access across the front lines and across the border regions controlled by the separatists. This unfortunate tra tragedy is a result of this access not being granted. I uh, commend the Austrian Foreign Minister who serves as OSCE Chair in Office for calling attention to this tragedy and calling, into an, calling for an immediate investigation into these events. Those who are responsible for the death of Joseph Stone and the injury of the two other monitors should be held accountable. Mr. President, Joseph Stone died serving his country by serving as a part of this international effort. And I extend my condolences this evening to his family and friends. And once again, call on the Russian leadership to put an end to the cycle of violence and to live up to its OSCE commitments. As chairman of the Helsinki Commission, the U.S. part of the OSCE Parliamentary Assembly, I think it's important for members of the Senate and for Americans to understand the important role that Americans are playing in this effort.